Okay, I decided I need no sleep. So I'm working. These are heavy duty shocks. I looked at the number. So I was over here working on the exhaust and the kicker. Got the kicker on it, exhaust on it, put the brake rehook back up, put the air cleaner on it. So I was working on the exhaust, trying to figure out the bracket. I am not running the pipe sticking out the ass in like that. That's stupid. So I got some uh, three different brackets here. And I thought I had some other ones, but I don't. I took them all to storage. So I think there's a flat one that goes straight. It doesn't have any offset sideways to it, I think. But I don't remember. Yeah, for what I know, I got. For what I have right now, this is it. So this is your normal exhaust bracket here, and you hang it off the the rigid frame up here. That's how it's supposed to be on a rigid frame. On a swing arm, it's the opposite. It hangs down low, and you come off the bracket. So we're gonna hang it down low, I guess. The bike's pretty low, so I don't want to get too low because we're going to drag. So we got to get tucked in also. It should be up near the shock, but the way the exhaust is coming, it won't be that way unless you do something like I did on my race bike where I put an S-bend in here and bring the thing in and up. Get that sucker tucked up real nice and tight where it belongs up high. And way short. It needs to be way over here, not way up there. So if you put it where I want it to be. It would be up high like that, and kind of about in that area. Something about there. I don't like them really short, but you know, flush with the back tire, not behind. Probably about where the rim is where I kind of like them. On this bike, that puts you right near the kicker, or under the kicker, which is too far back, so right about here is about where you run it. So about there is about your limitation. So being up high like this will give you lots of ground clearance to turn with. But I have to make an S bend in this to do that. Which I don't feel like making a whole different project out of this bike. So we're gonna leave it alone for now. If it's pointing downhill, we're definitely gonna move it up, but I'm not gonna get too carried away with it. Alright, so with this bracket here mounts right here. It gets down pretty low to the ground but it's where you can get the bracket in there the clamp in it if you had a p-clamp p-clamps are off to one side some of the clamps are straight this is kind of like a p so this one's close but i don't want to go downhill and i don't want to put it uphill because that's way up there that don't work this one here is like a sportster bracket of some type maybe but it's in my big twin box so not sure anyway this will bounce off the frame like that hangs down low underneath the bike so it's right in the middle of the muffler so it'll be hard to you have to run the peak on the outside which like this way out here and it would move the muffler out which is not how I want to do it I want to move it in not out so that one sucks okay so this one here is your regular FL bracket so normally they go on the inside like that tuck in with the big mufflers and stuff I thought or maybe they go this other direction I don't remember one way or the other you know, in this application, I'm going to put it straight there like that, up against the frame. The clamp will be right there. We'll mount the clamp right against that like that. And it will be about as high as we can make it. And you can bend these up and down by putting a fork tube in here. Wide glide fork tubes work really good for that. And just bend them up and down, side to side, wherever you want them to go to. They'll bend. They're pretty flexible. So I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to use this style clamp here. I don't know if I use this one, but anyway, this has to be cut off if I do. You don't want that hanging on the ground, it's stupid. It needs to be shortened up to where this would fit correctly. So, you have to cut this thing off somewhat. So, I'm going to go ahead and play with that slightly. Let's get the back of it. And like I said, more than likely, I'll probably cut it about right in here. Clamp would be right here. So, right about in here, probably where I cut it thing, so... There's no reason for it to be that extra six inches is stupid. So more than likely I've got to take this thing off the bike. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. Now I got some new Paco mufflers and I thought they were 28 inches and this looks like it might be a longer one. Oh, there's my new muffler. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it looks like the same length. These are hard to get in California. For some reason, Paco will not sell you a panhead muffler 
in California. Okay, so it looks like it's the same length. If not, maybe, yeah, this one might be an inch longer. So. Anyway, that's the new one. That's the used one. We usually use one for mock-up. All right, so I'm gonna have this basically about here. I think right there looks good. You can go into about here. But only slip on. So right about there is where you're gonna cut that sucker initially. So I don't have my bandsaw anymore, it's in storage. So I'll have to figure out how to cut that. Probably chop saw. Okay, so I'm gonna work on this a little bit. Get these parts off. Figure out what we're gonna do. Do it. Do it to it. I don't need no sleep anyway. Screw it. It's about 2 a.m. right now. I gotta get up early. Yeah. Early-ish. We'll figure out how early early it's gonna be. Just got done putting this all on the bike. So I like these two in one pipes. Can't see me. I like two in one pipes like this because they look like real bikes. They're not the best for power, that's for damn sure, but they look good. They sound good too. Get my drag bikes going on it too. I'll take the sacrifice and power to get what I want. We'll make it up somewhere else. Alright, so let's see if this thing will come out. Looks like it will. Pipe tucks in nice and cleanly, it clears the brake. So I do not have to pull the brake lever off. On a regular bike, you got to pull the brake lever off to get the exhaust out. But this one's so thin, it goes right through here, no problem. So that's a plus. Okay, I'm going to go uh, cut this off, mount that, and we will be back on this. All right, working the exhaust. So I cut the um, clamp off, pipe off, about that much, about six inches. Remount it up. I shoved it in as far as I could when I mounted it. I got the bracket mounted here. I got the clamp here. Goes in until it hits inside that. And then we got this here. Brackets right there, which is almost the same spot it was cut before. That will go right in there like that. I got the P clamp mounted so it moves the pipe all the way over. <clears throat> so let's see how that mounts. So I got a few bolts and stuff I grabbed. So let's see what we got to work with here. Let's see, nice and long bolt. Fishtail straight too, very important. Right wrench. Down, which is sucks. This thing way out here, so I see it. Rotate that underneath a little ways at least. Don't have to look at the damn thing. 
It also won't drag if you get up out of the way too. The clamp's not very good. And of course we got the bracket in the wrong spot over here. Stick underneath. So you have a little tool right here that takes care of these problems. There you go. So the back of the bike. Looks pretty good. That's why it was on. So fishtails leaned good. So it's tucked in a little as far as we're going to get it, but it the real roll you want it to be way really on inside. But there's going to be a caliper right here which will take up this gap. So actually, it's mounted pretty good. I use Wellwood calipers, what I like using. So that'll it's pretty wide, it'll take up that whole gap real easy. So it'll look like it fits. And like I said, you can always fine tune the bracket by bending it in or out a little bit. Right now it is actually tucked in a little bit, so if you look at it from the top, you can see how the pipe's coming in and turning like this. So, we can, like I said, that can be played with a little bit to do what you want, but I'd rather have it tucked in and have it tucked out. It looks like crap when you stick out. All right, so, we got everything mounted on that. And find a washer for that. So we did not use the exhaust bracket for our custom pipes. Because we're not using custom pipes, we're using Harley pipes. Made by Paco. <laughs> but they're Harley pipes. Style, same ones. So here's the pile of stuff I got left over. There's a universal throttle to go on there, of course it doesn't fit. This is internal throttle handlebar. The new set here is a stock set. New pop. These are all for internal throttle also, which doesn't really work too good. V twin wants like 200 something bucks for that, that crappy ass stuff, so. Yep. Yeah, I'm losing the bar. So, anyway, there's a stock type bar, which will work better if you're on a fat seat and footboards, how I like stuff. So, these are more my style bar. So, it's hard to. They're definitely wider. Can't really lay them on the bike without uh, mounting them. So you can see how much wider they are. Now they can be uh, shortened up a little bit. A little cutting and a little welding. Bring them in an inch or two aside makes a big difference. Just cut them right here. You can make that way down to here if you want. Kind of what they did on that, but they got to weld at the wrong angle. So, or I can just take this bar and. It, tweak it up, which might be what I do anyway. Depends on what I'm going to use. Either way, I want to use uh, external throttle on this bike, like I did on my race bike. So, worst case, I can cut that off. Internal throttles don't work very good for modern carburetors. They barely work for old carburetors. So I got the shock up mounted up on here. For the rockers, I was going to put the. Uh, inline disc brake ones on here. So I'm going to go right down there. And that way you don't have to have the stock axle and all this drum brake crap you won't have to use. So it'll fit a nice cleaner. And I can mount them on the inside instead of the outside if I really want to tuck it in nice and tight, which you know I mean I do. So I might do that. And then I got the chrome nuts here to go with it. Right here. Bolt kit. So, anyway, if I do that, I'll have to have a custom axle. So I grab the custom axle right here, because I'm not custom. For custom use, see? So we'll just take that, cut off about six inches of it, and it'll be for custom use. Custom springer. And just put these on there like this, and they'll be real close together. But I gotta see what caliper I'm gonna use. I wanna put a real small, a rotor and caliper on it, but we'll see. For now, I'm gonna leave it alone because it's, it's put together right now. And 
I like running fenders, not running open, but it looks better without the fender, but yeah, make a decision. All right, that's going to be what we're going to do right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this, uh, do a couple more things, get off the rack, we'll be back.